Rahu confuses a lot of astrologers. Because what I have found that people don't know how to predict about Rahu and Kip. For this, they have came with multiple whims and fancies. Rahu indicates attachment, K2 indicates detachment, blah, blah. These things, good to talk and to say to people, does not work in practice. These are verbal jargons only. It is true that there is uh, very little information and technique about Rahu and Ketu. But whatever is there, that is enough. Right? Still, some new information related to Rahu <clears throat> you are going to get in this. Like we have discussed about all the planets, Rahu talks about ego. So if the Rahu is positive in horoscope, positive means influenced by positive planets, right? Rahu and Ketu does not work like normal planets. They work more on influence. Like Mercury and Saturn, you know which planets, they also work based on influence. Rahu, Ketu also works based on influence. There is only one rule related to Rahu and Ketu, major rule. That is, if Rahu and Ketu are with a planet, conjoined with a planet, they give result like the planet they are conjoined. If not, then they give result according to the planet aspecting them. If no one is aspecting, then they give result according to the Rashi Lord. As per the placement of the Rashi Lord. Remember to apply the next principle only when the previous one does not apply. And in the case where there is more than one conjunction or more than one aspect, you will have to keep in mind that the most powerful aspect or conjunction will take the lead. Now coming to the thing, Rahu indicates ego. And when Rahu is positive, as in exaltation, debilitation, Rashis, etc. for uh, Rahu and Ketu, I don't consider, though at some places it is considered, I don't consider exact exaltation and debilitation places for Rahu and Ketu. As I told you, Rahu and Ketu give result according to the planet conjoined with them, aspecting them or the Rashi Lord. So if the conjoining planet, aspecting planet or the Rashi Lord is exalted, Rahu Ketu should also behave like exalted if they are debilitated. Rahu Ketu also behave like debilitated and so on. So if Rahu is positively influenced in horoscope, Rahu indicates ego. And if Rahu is positively influenced in horoscope, one is not egoistic as all. One can be proud of their achievements, which is right to do so, but will not be egoistic. Whereas on the other hand, if Rahu is afflicted in horoscope, then it will make the native egoistic, very egoistic. Not only this one thing we have to understand. Because Rahu indicates ego in the Dasha Antar Dasha of an afflicted Rahu, ego related clash problems because of ego will happen. This also have to be understood this way. Right? Rahu and Ketu indicate army as well. In the planetary kingdom, Rahu and Ketu are the army. So if someone is working in army and police, they are working because of a strong Rahu Ketu. Rahu Ketu influencing the houses related to profession or income will indicate that someone will work in army or will work in police. Police is the army for the state government. The army is the army for the central government, at least for India. Right? So this is how it should be understood. Rahu is called Tam. Tam means darkness. Darkness is related to Tamasuguna. So the quality of tamasguna, laziness, putting things that I will do it tomorrow, wasting time, wanting something without doing effort or giving anything in return, these tamasic qualities are indicated by Rahu, when Rahu is afflicted. Generally indicated when it is afflicted in horoscope, more so indicated when the Rahu and Ketu are ruling in Dasha and Tradasha. And when Rahu and Ketu are positive, then these traits are not there. We should also keep in mind that if one is having these traits, then they can make their strong Rahu weak as well. So the best is to not have this trait, not engage with these traits. Rahu is also called as Asur. Asur means a demon. So the demonical tendencies of working late in night, trying to make people afraid, going against what is the accepted norm of the society and doing things is also indicated by Rahu. Apart from that, Rahu is also called a serp. Serp means a snake. So snakes are indicated by Rahu. And in this particular scenario, any dangerous or poisonous animal 
will be indicated by Rahu Ketu. So if Rahu Ketu are afflicted, one can have problems because of these animals. Nowadays, administration of wrong medicine, eating expired food, which becomes poisonous, should also come under the influence of Rahu Ketu because classically it is not mentioned. Right? In this way, it should be understood. Rahu Ketu creates problem related to these things when Rahu Ketu is afflicted. More so if Rahu is connected to 6th house of disease, 8th house of death, 2nd and 7th house, which is Marag house or 12th house of losses. Then because of poison and poisonous animals such as scorpion, snake, expired food, expired medication, wrong medication, because of these things, problem will happen. Rahu is also called Fanin. Fanin means the one with the hood, that is snake itself. Apart from that, Rahu is also called Semikeya, that means the son of Simmega, that is the name of the mother of Rahu. Right. Rahu is also called Sarbhanu, the demon who got split into two pieces where the head became Rahu and the remaining body became Ketu was named Swarab Swarabhanu. So that's why it is called Swarabhanu also. In complexion, Rahu indicates black complexion. So when Rahu is connected to ascendant in Rashi chart or ascendant or moon in Navam's chart or when Rahu is the most powerful planet in Kendra, then Rahu does indicate black complexion, dark complexion. However, what I have seen that if Rahu is directly posited in the ascendant, then generally it makes the person very attractive, charming, beautiful. And generally it does not indicate a black complexion. It does not indicate a darker complexion. Also in the case when Rahu and Ketu are situated with, conjoined with some other planet, they will take the color of the planet rather than giving the black complexion that they give. If you want to donate something for Rahu Ketu, that also should be black in color. So black gram, black clothes or anything black can be donated for Rahu. Right. Adi Shesh. Adi Shesh is the snake on which Lord Vishnu is sleeping. Is the deity ruled by Rahu. So an idol or a photo of Lord Vishnu sleeping on a snake, worshipping it is the best remedy for Rahu. Not only that, any deity connected with snake can also be worshipped for Rahu. Should also be worshipped for Rahu. There is a particular idol of Ganesha as well where he is having a snake coiled around his stomach. That should also be worshipped for Rahu. Specifically, if Rahu is giving problems in marriage, then the idol of this Ganesha, which idol or image of this Ganesha having serpent coiled around his waist. Idol should be placed in the worship room, temple and photo can be placed in the bedroom as well. Should be placed in bedroom. It gives good result of Rahu and the affliction that Rahu will be creating to marriage factors will be greatly reduced if done. Rahu also indicates southwest direction. So if you want to do something for Rahu, it is better to do it in the southwest direction. For example, if you want to visit the temple of Shiva or Vishnu for Rahu, it is better if the temple is in southwestern direction from your home. If Rahu is connected to marriage factors, so seventh house, seventh lord Venus, then it will indicate that you can meet your life partner in southwest direction or your life partner may come from southwest direction. Apart from that, if Rahu is positively connected to 11th house, which indicates gain or other monetary factors or other, uh, other monetary factors, then in that particular scenario also, it will indicate that going to the southwestern direction, shifting to the southwestern country, southwestern side of the city, southwestern side of the country will be beneficial for the native. In the same manner, if Rahu is connected with profession houses, then having your office in southwest uh, direction from your home will be very good. Rahu is malefic in nature. So any planet who is connected with Rahu will be afflicted. So you say if a planet is conjoined with Rahu, Rahu takes the result of the planet, but afflicts the planet as well. So any planet with Rahu and Ketu should be considered as afflicted also. Regarding gender, I take Rahu to be of male gender. So when Rahu is connected to fifth house, it will give male children connected to third house. It will give male siblings. Connected to fourth house, can it give, give a male mother? No. But mother will have to work like a male, take responsibility of the family. She will be working because of which the care and other things that the mother is supposed to give to the native can be reduced. In the same manner, if Rahu is connected to the seventh house in a female horoscope, 
the husband will be male like that we want him to be that is very good but if in a male horoscope rahu is connected to 7th house it will indicate that spouse which should be a female will be male like it does mean that a spouse will be professionally successful well to do charming attractive etc but also indicates that spouse will have male tendencies of aggression short temperedness coarse voice hard skin etc as well this way it should be understood people belonging from the lower most start of the society low class people out class people are indicated by rahu so if you want to do any remedy related to rahu giving donations to them or doing the remedy with their help will be very good traditionally in tantra sometimes it is also indicated that for the removal of black magic some outcast person some potter some barber etc should be taken to worship this uh, particular deity or chant this particular mantra right now you know that it is because of rahu right if you take help of a barber or potter to make an idol for you or do some worship or chant some mantra for you then you will be activating your rahu right this way it should be understood if rahu and ketu are indicating gain of something it will be gained because of outcast people or people belonging from very low class of society this should be seen in natal horoscope also this can be seen in prashna as well for example say in natal horoscope if rahu and ketu are connected to the 7th house then you may find your spouse because of the help of these people you can get into relationship with the help of these people right so you can get into relationship because of outcast now one more thing is there that if rahu is connected to 7th house how the spouse will look like if the rahu is connected to 5th house how the child will look like if the rahu is connected to 4th house how the mother will look like if rahu is connected to ascendant how the native will look like that we will that i will tell you rahu is tall in height so it gives tall height skin diseases it will produce it makes the person a heretic it makes a person have hiccups it makes the person a liar or someone who possess who portrays something about himself that he is not it makes the person cunning gives diseases related to leprosy or other skin diseases right but when this rahu is well placed it does indicate that he will be a person who will relieve other from troubles etc this it also indicates that the person will be devoid of intelligence as in not like the person is not learned or not intelligent but he is not able to use his intelligence for himself or for his benefit is what should be understood right the person will love to spend a time in forest or those areas which are generally not not visited by general public at large right rahu also indicate corners of houses and ant hills so if you keep corners of your houses well lighted neat and clean you will be remedying your rahu improving your rahu that is one thing in prashna if something is lost and rahu and ke rahu is connected to 7th house or connected with 7th lord or regarding whatever is lost if with the significator of that house rahu is connected and prashna also indicates that the thing is in home itself then it will be in the corners of the home right apart from that rahu also indicate ant hills so if you wanted to do some remedy for rahu doing it near ant hills will be good if rahu is connected to fourth house it will indicate that near the home there will be good amount of ant hills or many ant hills will be there accordingly it should be understood as per the indication old garments clothes having multiple colors is indicated by rahu these clothes you can wear to activate your rahu these clothes you can donate for rahu or you can have a multicolored curtain bed sheets etc in your home to activate rahu you will want to activate rahu only when rahu is good how rahu will become good when rahu is connected with a well to do planet exalted planet mool trikon planet swarashi planet vargottam planet then also rahu and ketu will behave the same way rahu and ketu is positive apart from that rahu and ketu can also become vargottam so independently when rahu and ketu are vargottam then also they give good results and if they are giving good results then you should activate your rahu and ketu for best results because good result giving planet will lead you to rajyoga 
in metals rahu indicate lead so things made up of lead can be donated or worn to remedy rahu strengthen rahu basically strengthen rahu right so not remedy but strengthening rahu if rahu is a beneficial planet then you will want to strengthen it for the best results in prashna if rahu is indicating something then it will happen in 8 months right this is how it should be understood regarding planets rahu is very friendly towards venus and saturn so when rahu is with venus and saturn he is with friendly planets and gain of things indicated by rahu will be very easy whereas rahu have a good relationship with mercury jupiter also not a very good relationship very friendly towards venus saturn normally friendly towards mercury jupiter should be understood very inimical towards the sun moon and sun and moon very inimical towards sun and moon with mars rahu is neutral neutral if the mars is good rahu is good if the mars is not rahu is not with mars rahu gives some good results some bad results bad results particularly because mars is aggression and rahu is ego so related to aggression and ego it indicates problems in other areas it is good with mars right this is the basic point now rahu and ketu have a darkening nature so feeling disappointed feeling that there is no way out feeling that i can only do this thing there is no other option left for me these tendencies are given by rahu and generally when it is a negative rahu which is also running in dasha antar dasha one is come to such feelings and because of coming to such feelings they can create mistakes or do things which is not favorable for them so if you have a negative rahu and that rahu is also activated because of dasha antar dasha transit etc of this particular tendency you should be careful about Rahu is a hind rising planet so anything that is indicated by Rahu happens with delay generally the things indicated by Rahu is enjoyed in old age only so you say if Rahu is connected to 10th house then i am not saying that one cannot get job early in life they can start their career do their job early in life considerably delayed as compared to their peers friends and the other society members but the real enjoyment real reward name fame prestige that is indicated in the horoscope will come in later ages only if rahu is connected to 10th house why because rahu is hind rising right hind rising planets delays things is the basic formula that you will have to remember here mountains and forests are indicated by rahu and ketu both so if rahu is indicating something meeting of life partner placement of office etc then it will be near mountains and forests how to find the place see the rashi lord of the house lord for example the place where you will meet your life partner rashi lord of the 7th house lord now rahu cannot become the rashi lord of the 7th house lord so if rahu is connected with 7th house lord then in that particular scenario you can meet your spouse near mountains or forests or a major you say start of a relationship for example you meet your life partner anywhere but they propose you near mountains and forests or first physical relationship you have around mountains and forests etc rahu and ketu generally indicate 70 year old person and even more older person so if you do remedies related to rahu ketu such as giving donations etc to very old people nearing 70s or more than that that will be very good that is one thing if rahu and ketu are indicating something achievement of something they will be achieved through or by the help of old people around 70 or more than 70 right this is what should be understood in gemstones agate is traditionally recommended for rahu so wearing agate or consuming agate method of which i have told earlier will be good for rahu apart from that hesonite in the modern terms is also indicated by rahu so wearing hesonite and consuming hesonite as per the method i have told before for rahu will be very beneficial it will activate rahu and only activate rahu when it is positive in your house rahu have downward aspect it does indicate the person getting ashamed so a negative afflicted rahu connected to any house or any planet will make you ashamed related to the significations of the house or the planet whatever the condition will be apart from that rahu influences 5th 9th and 12th house from its placement this 12th house should be calculated as you calculate the 12th house 12th house for first house is the 12th house itself 12th house for the second house is the first house 12th house for the third house is second house and so on and so forth 
normally it should be calculated rahu influences over these houses i don't take the influence of rahu over the seventh house because seventh to rahu there will always be ketu so it is useless to take the influence of rahu over ketu itself in that case how you will distinguish the result of rahu and ketu god knows at least i don't know right so rahu does not aspect seventh to it because ketu is already there now a particular setup is there that this thing i have explained before also that if there are many planets situated in a rashi and they are getting aspected by rahu who will get the maximum influence of rahu's aspect so planets situated between 20 degree to 30 degrees in leo virgo libra scorpio aquarius pisces will get the maximum influence of maximum aspectual influence of influence from aspect of rahu and planet placed between 0 degrees to 10 degrees in aries taurus gemini cancer scorpio sagittarius will get maximum influence of rahu through aspect this should be understood in relatives if one wants to know about paternal grandfather it should be known through rahu rahu indicate paternal grand rahu is very good in aries scorpio aquarius virgo taurus and cancer rashis and in 10th house as well any planet is good in 10th house so if rahu is situated in these houses then your rahu should be considered as strong then the rahu should be considered as positive in that particular scenario you can do remedies related to rahu when situated in these uh, houses and rashis rahu will also give you good result in their dasha and epilepsy small pox uh, epilepsy small pox these diseases are indicated by rahu getting troubled by house flies getting troubled by worms getting troubled by ghosts getting troubled by friends goblins is indicated by rahu suicide by hanging diseases from want of food thirst leprosy skin issues are also indicated by rahu right buddhist people are indicated by rahu snake catchers are indicated by rahu as ram wolf camel serpents are indicated by rahu places enveloped in darkness is indicated by rahu mosquito bug insect owl is indicated by rahu so if you want to do some donation for rahu maybe to some buddhist priest to some buddhist palace temple you can do the donation snake catcher if you see you can give some donation to snake catcher that will be a good remedy for rahu doing things for beneficence preservance or giving water etc and anything that is suitable to be given to camel wolf ass ram etc will also be a good remedy for rahu when i say remedy i mean to say if you do it you will make your rahu positive when i say activating or strengthening it means that it will activate or strengthen the rahu and if the rahu is malefic the strengthening will be bad for you if the rahu is beneficial good result giving only then the strengthening will be good for you the sense of touch is governed by rahu and generally when rahu is weak and afflicted the sense of touch is damaged in the horoscope of the native what happens because of it multiple issues such as not being able to feel things and all of these things of course this will happen you know that one can become very tolerant to pain as well not feeling pain and because of this they can do things self harming things to a greater extent as compared to others this tendency is also given by rahu so rahu gives uh, self harming tendencies also and because the person feels less pain they are more susceptible towards creating uh, more danger for themselves as compared to normal people so they should be careful about it importantly because the loss of touch related elements will also create uh, sexual problems rahu indicates sexual problems as well black gram is also indicated by rahu so donation of black gram will remedy rahu as well clamp of trees clamp of bush or shal tree is also indicated by rahu so preserving planting watering these trees will remedy your rahu as well in the 10 incarnations of lord vishnu varaha or the bore incarnation is indicated by rahu varaha or the bore incarnation cannot be worshiped at home right so the temple where the idol or image of varaha bhagwan lord varaha is there you can visit that temple donate there do worship there 
to get good results of Rahu to remedy Rahu. In the in this temple complex in Kujraho in Madhya Pradesh, there is a big idol of Lord Vara. There also you can visit, and this will give you good result related to Rahu. This will remedy Rahu. Right. Thank you for uh, watching this video. My hope is that you will take note of the information that is told and you will read it over and over again. So to remember it and in your consultations and while you are reading the horoscope, you will use this information to make better predictions.